In today's video we take a closer look at the new Kaiser Guru. That's knife collector here. Thanks for tuning in. Before I start with my first impressions of the Kaiser Guru, I want to ask you to mark a date in your schedule. I announced it in a few previous videos last year. We are organizing a knife weekend meeting for knife enthusiastic people uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, but everyone from over the world is welcome to join. Uh, the date is set and confirmed. We will start Friday, June the 13th, 13, 30 June, uh, and it will end on Sunday, July the 2nd. So mark that date in your schedule. Go ahead and plan the weekend if you have the possibility, the chance, the funds to join. It will be a nice weekend of a gathering of knife enthusiastic people. So, the Kaiser Guru. It's a Matt Degnan design. He also designed the roach and the cane for Kaiser. And those were uh, appreciated very much by the Kaiser fans. Nice designs, very clean, very different from each other. And this one is a smaller knife. For me personally, very small. The Guru comes in four variations. You see two variations, but these two variations cover all four. The differences are, first of all, thumb stud opening, flipper opening, and then a frame with or without holes. So those four variations are available. Thumb stud, flipper, holes, no holes. So with these two models I cover all four variations. The knife comes in the well-known Kaiser package. So the cardboard outer box. These are always difficult to open because they will tear at you, tear up at the corners. But it's a nice box with the Kaiser logo. And then in the box there will be the presentation box. With the paperwork, the warranty information, the cleaning cloth, also with Kaiser logo. And it's a very nice presentation box. And then the knife itself will be in a plastic baggie in a very nice camo colored uh, pouch. So the Guru. Uh, let me start with some high resolution picks. Uh, 
Presenzo.com, the Dutch retailer. And he also provided me these two for the review. As I said earlier, it's a small knife. Uh, the blade is 3 inch or 7.6 centimeter. And it only weighs, depending on the variation you choose, with or without holes, it's only 170 gram. I think that will be 3 ounce. Yeah, about 3 ounce, I think. Let me put the specs in frame right now. And then a blade steel of S35VN and a full titanium frame. So let's take a closer look at the Guru. And show you some details. The blade finish is a very nice satin brush. This one came with a lot of lubrication so I thought I cleaned it up but not entirely. I see some spots left. So a very nice satin brush. It is a flat grind. For such a small blade a very thick stock. And here you can see the name of Matt Dagnan. Sheep's food design. Very big generous finger choil for choking up, for control detailed work. And it works. 6 ALV titanium. This pivot uh, they used on more designs. You like it or you don't like it. I like it. And here you can see the holes. All chamfered. Very nicely done. Here you can see that the screws are sunk in the frame. So you can't feel them. Everything is chamfered, round off. So very well done. The frame has a sandblasted finish and dark grey anodized. Very deep dark grey color, very nice. I like this color more than a lot of other more lighter grey designs, uh, finishing of Kaiser. 3D milled pocket clip, two point construction, pocket kit clip has a lot of tension but also a lot of spring so this will work, this provides room enough for the pocket. It's a deep carry pocket clip, as you can see. Only this portion will be seen. And then a generous lanyard hole. Steel insert. Also functions as over travel. Come on, let's focus. Lockup is, I think, 40%, 30, 30, 40%. Knife runs on ceramic bearings. It's very smooth. Very well centered. And it flies open. Very thick stock pin for such a small knife. And then the blade tang, as you can see, where it hits the stop pin, completely round off, 
to distribute the forces when opening the knife. Open flow through construction. No milling work inside the frame, except of course for these big holes. So a lot of weight is already uh, saved. Depending on the variation you choose, with or without the holes, it weighs 170 gram or 130 gram. I think about three ounces. Very smooth. Ergos, regular grip. In the regular grip, the way I hold it, this portion is sharp. When the lock is engaged, it is sharp. And I can feel the pocket clip in my hand, although it is not a hot spot. This could be a hot spot when working with the knife. When choking up, you can't feel this, this portion, you don't have troubles or problems with this portion, so it's very comfortable. Draw cut grip is not nice because of this portion. It hurts my thumb on this spot. But when choking up in the soil, and it, it can be done safely, then it's very comfortable. Reverse grip, very comfortable, no problems with the sharp spot at all. So all in all, good ergos. Then let's take a look at this one. This is the flipper and the non-hole frame. Same fit and finish, very good. Everything is the same except the holes and this one is the flipper. Light switch, push button, action is good. This one is a bit smoother as the previous one. Detent, let's see if I can shake it out. I can't shake it out, so good detent. This one also very good centered. No blade play. And the pivot can be adjusted with a regular torque screw, uh, screwdriver. So, very nice, small, EDCable knife. Very useful because of the sheep's foot. Very strong build, very strong tip, it is sharp, I think a lot of people will like this one, because a lot of people prefer a bit smaller EDC knife, and if you like smaller EDC knives this is definitely a knife you want to check out. 
Messenzo didn't only provide this knife for the review, but also provides a discount code for viewers of my channel. And the discount code I will put in frame right now. And with that discount code you get a discount of 10 euro on the price. At this point shipping in Germany, Belgium and Holland is free. With the discount code you get the knife for 185 euro. So it's a very nice price because the MSRP is way higher. And for people in the United States just write the owner of Mesenzo an email because in the United States you don't have to pay taxes and the chance is that you get the knife very affordable if it's not available in the United States. I don't know, I didn't check. So, the Kaiser Guru Matt Dagnan design. Very well designed EDCable knife. A lot of usability in this small package. Very well done. I like it. I will not buy it because it's too small for me and I don't like it enough to buy it but I do like it. Very nice package from Kaiser. So the Kaiser Guru. If you like this video please like it. If you like my channel please subscribe. That's it for now. Bye bye.